Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kevin. I am a geek, and you are watching Kevin the Geek. Now, who I tell you what, this episode, this episode is going to be a big one because if you watched last episode out you would have known that there was a wonderful person or rather a wonderful couple that we basically know very well from the original broken sword games it is a couple that well, quite frankly, have untold infamacy in the legends that is Broken Sword. And that is, of course, Pearl and Dwayne Henderson. Oh my word, I cannot believe it. We are here at this point where we get to see them once again. I'm not going to get... Uh, I'm not going to get blown away by two. Actually, I probably am. I'm not going to lie. They're one of my favourite characters from this entire history of this game. Let's get in. Let's see them once again. Let's see what they've got to say for themselves. There they are. Pearl and Dwayne. <laughs> I'm so excited. Great to see you again, Mr. Henderson. Great to see you too, George. Great work back there with the cable car. <laughs> Is Pearl okay? Uh, I wish. Uh, I'm afraid we're having one of those days where everything goes wrong. <laughs> Tell me about it. I really wish you could see my face right now. I've got such a big smile on my face. <laughs> what have you been up to since we last met in Claramonte? Oh, so they haven't well, been in three or four there then, There was basically. that little sideshow in Rome, but we can't talk about that. Uh, you know why, George. Do we? Do? Uh, I mean, I do. Yeah, what? yeah, we do. Top secret. Need of to know course. what you know. <laughs> Dwayne is a uh, uh, snoozer. Sleeper agent. Don't you mean a sleeper? Yeah, there you go. No way, honey. A snoozer's at least two pay grades up from a sleeper. Uh, oh. Uh, so I hear. Anyway, I don't believe I've had the pleasure, Miss... Uh... Nicole Collar. Call me Nico. Well, how's about that? So this is the beautiful Nico. No wonder you've been hiding her away from me, Georgie boy. Gosh, uh, no, I, uh... It's Wasn't lovely to never finally with meet them. you too, Mr. Henderson. George has told me so much about you. No way. Oh, call me Dwayne, my dear. And let me assure you of one thing. Everything you've heard is quite possibly true. <laughs> Dwayne was loud, large, and short-sighted. But boy, was he a charmer. Yeah, that is true. So did they seriously never meet? Let's have a think about this for a second. Actually, yeah, no, they wouldn't have met in the first game because literally the only ever time you saw Nico was either in her apartment or obviously when she joined him when going on the train right at the end of the game. So, no, they wouldn't have met in Syria. Was it Syria? I want to say it was Syria back in that day. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong. Um, and then... And what would have been the second game? Yeah, so that was when it was in Quaramonte. Which Nico was there. But no, I don't actually recall her actually interacting with um with uh, Is Pearl or Dwayne there. Do for Pearl? Yeah, I sure as hell hope so, George. She's been planning and researching this trip for years. Our little pilgrimage. And Santa Cova Chapel here was the cherry on the cake. Not a thing she don't know about this place. Madonna, blah, blah, blah. Chapel built in, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> She's Santa Cova's very own walking encyclopedia. 
Well, weeping encyclopedia, I should say. <laughs> well, poor pal. So, what brings you to Santa Cova? Pearl's idea from the get-go. <laughs> Ever since the unfortunate car accident back home, she's been scouring car those pilgrimage brochures. Gotta be full of wonder and life-changing imagery. Got to have the penance potential. Got to offer a, a real spiritual experience. Wow. Well, I'm okay. sure this place will be very spiritual once it's finished. <laughs> if the chapel is not what she expected, how about the monastery? Hmm. Hot Good dog. Point, Nico. No, that place is for tourists, not pilgrims. Oh, okay. You said she expected a spiritual experience? No, well, that's what the brochure promised. Mm. Pilgrimages, little monk fellas, singing, uh, shafts of light, the, the whole shebang. Smells, bells, and heavenly lights. Yeah, that's what the lady wanted. <laughs> oh, excuse me, yeah, Pearl needs me. Oh, bless her. There, there, dear. Pearl could be a mine of information about the chapel. If we could just cheer her up. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. We need to find something clearly to cheer her up. So let's have a little look around before we try and actually speak to Pearl. that a mason's hammer okay clearly that's going to come in useful for something turpentine okay the scaffolding was a little loose oh everything rattled it made a surprisingly dulcet noise Hmm. Oh. It produced a dull sound when I wrapped my knuckle against it. Okay. It produced a dull sound. Okay. It produced a dull sound. <laughs> Can we play the drums? Let's play the drums. The hammer produced a promising sound. <laughs> a. Oh. What are you up to? Look, I made a church in spiel. A what? That sounded like an A. A. Well, that was fun. That was kind of fun in a weird way. And I had no idea that George My had the perfect said, pitch. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Okay, we've got wood shavings. Okay. Shall we uh, light the candle? I lit the candles on the candelabra. Yeah, maybe maybe that might might cheer her up. Yeah, maybe. Black A statue of the Madonna and Child watched over the chapel. A modern plaster altar had been built against the rock. 
What's that song he's singing? What is that song? Do it again there, Dwayne. Oh, on, Dwayne. No, you're not going to do it? Oh, okay, fair enough. Right. Uh, right. Maybe, maybe now we've done the, um, lit the candles, maybe that might cheer Pearl up. Pearl. Shh, she doesn't want to be disturbed. Oh. Hi, Dwayne. Hey, George. How you holding up? Me? Oh, I'm fine. Pearl, on the other hand. <laughs> uh, how's Pearl doing? Uh, she's pretty upset, George. Well, maybe she just needs a hug. Yeah. Is that the best you got? The last uh. time she was in a mood like this, I tried the old hug routine. Yeah. Didn't go well. I still have the scars. <laughs> what can you tell me about Santa Cova? Well, Pearl's the expert, not me. She knows everything there is to know about this chapel. Did you see the Black Madonna? Oh, you betcha. She's the little lady we came to see. Oh. Though Pearl's in too much of a state to even look at her. Right. <laughs> Hey, that tune you were whistling earlier, it sounded familiar. Yes, it did. What is it? Schubert's Ave Maria. In our uh, court days, me and Pearl used to hang out with... That's what it was. Time. It was Pearl's favorite. Ave Maria. <laughs> okay. Oh, excuse me. Pearl needs me. Damn it. Right. There, there, dear. The view over the valley was spectacular. Does look quite nice. Oh, but that's it. Okay, right. So we've got to figure up a way to cheer her up. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. So Dwayne is whistling because basically everything in in Broken Sword games they're all connected in some way, shape, or form. Okay. So what I'm thinking, the fact that we basically did a like we we hit the this hammer thing on one of these and George going, oh, it sounds like an A. I think we've basically got to try and work out what the song tune is let's see try on a few different things so it makes a noise it wasn't exactly a note but using the hammer was a great idea okay right and one second i'm just going to grab a pen and paper because i'm going to need to work out what each note is because obviously you had the on the screen so i'm gonna have to try and use my musical knowledge which isn't great you know i can kind of follow a tune but i can't i'm not great at, at uh you know noting what is what so let's try it so let's try with the silver drum first of all g right so oil drum is G. Okay. B, if I wasn't mistaken. All right. And B 
is fire extinguisher. And so an A, A, was that? A. But so we've got two A's. There's a pink one. Right. So surely we're going to need maybe another note. Maybe an F or a C. Because you know it's basically go C, C, D, E, F, G, then back round to A, A, B, C again. Um, well, that was fun. So, right, we picked up some of this turbotine. Maybe if we put some of that in, does that... I poured the turpentine into the... Does that change the note at all? The hammer produced a promising sound. F sharp. Oh, an F sharp, that is. Well, okay. Um, yeah, that's the right paint can. And so the left one is the A. Okay. Well, that was. Right. Hi, Dwayne. Hey, George. What were you whistling again? No, oh, it's Schubert's Ave Maria. <laughs> right. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Pearl needs me. And I need Dwayne to do the whistle. There, there, dear. So I can see what the note should be. Come on, Dwayne. Do you whistling? Damn it, I can't see it. Damn it! God damn it. He did it when I couldn't see what, what he was doing. Ave Maria. So I'm useless. At, like, if someone's going to me, I pick out that. No, I'm useless. I might be able to work it out if I can see what he's doing. Oh, I've got to wait for it. So that'll be the F sharp, I think. It's the second one. All right, let's go on, go on, Dwayne. I'm waiting for you.
because if I remember correctly, obviously you have the five lines of notes where, where a note is on the line and then you have the ones when they're in the gap. The one thing I always remember is that it spells out face all the notes that appear in, in, the, in the gaps, F, A, C and E. Go on, Dwayne, any time today. Oh my God, this is so frustrating. Because I haven't got, I don't, well, at least I don't think there's like a journal or anything like that, is there? No. There's no journal or something that it may be written down in. Oh, come on, Dwayne. Probably going to be stood here for like half an hour just waiting for him to do another whistle, aren't I? Yeah, I'm feeling like you are, George. Oh. Right, so it definitely starts and ends on a G. And then it definitely goes to an F sharp. Right, so I need six notes. So I think I've worked out three. I think it's back to a G again. G. Right, I think I've got it. I think it is basically G, F sharp, G, B, A, G. That's what I think it is. think. I'm going to see it one more time. Because A. Come on, Dwayne, one more time. Yeah, right, I think I've got it. Right. All right, I think we got it. Pearl, your help is on the way, I think, possibly. Right, so um, so it will basically be oil drum, right paint can, oil drum again, and it'll be the fire extinguisher, and the left paint can, and then the oil drum again. Okay, we have re re ready, everybody. The hammer produced a F sharp. G. B A G I had it. It was the tune Dwayne was humming. Yeah. Georges, that's Ave Maria. Let me have a go. Okay. Oh. Oh, 
<laughs> I was going to say, it didn't sound like anything that he was doing. Wow. You really nailed that, Nico. Well done, yep. Nico. This mop really is pretty special. <laughs> Leave this to me. Okay. Now can we talk to Pearl? Pearl. Shh. She doesn't want to be disturbed. Hi, Dwayne. Oh. Hey, George. <laughs> Damn it! I thought we had it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Pearl needs me. There, there, dear. All right. Hey, Nico. So, what did you mean by smells, bells, and heavenly lights? Mm. I'm talking about the authentic church experience. Right. Oh, I see. Smells, bells, and heavenly lights. Poor Pearl. She's in quite a state. If we're going to find the tabula, her knowledge is key. So, all our hopes are pinned on an American tourist. Not for the first time. I pin my hopes on an American tourist all the time. Oh, you charmer. How come your Ave Maria sounds so much better than mine? Well, A, because you're, you're doing it a lot quicker. Got any ideas for smells? Hmm. Have you found any incense? Oh, okay. Much more authentic than incense. Right. Okay, so we have to do some smells as well. Okay, got it. Okay, right. Um. So, what? Where could we burn something? Um. So we've got some wood shavings, but where can we put them? Do we just... I didn't want to set my pants on fire. Yeah. Very smart thinking, George. Um. Um. Oh, there's I a mug. See anything. Maybe if we put those into the mug. I put the shavings in the mug. Uh-huh. Now we can set them on fire. I lit the shavings. They smelled not completely unlike sandalwood. The shavings were slowly burning inside the mug. Okay. Light smells and heavenly... Light spells and heavenly smells. So we've got the smell. I think we've done the lights without even realising it. And then we've got the bells. That might be it. Nico? How come you're... Yeah, we've already done that. What should I do about the lights? I don't know. But the Black Madonna is the most exceptional relic here. Maybe we could highlight her somehow. Okay. So we're all on the right lines. Maybe, oop. Could that be as simple as that? Nico? I have a great idea for smells. We could spray some bread on Pearl. <laughs> Well, that's one way to send her to heaven. Okay. So we've let the the wood shavings. There were some ashes. Oh. A second, I pun. Right. So they're burnt out. So we need to get some more. Oh, 
Right, let's go back again. I put the shavings in the mug. Right, maybe do put some flowers in there as well. I mixed the flowers with the shavings. Potpourri. Kind of. Aha! Uh, now do we like them? I lit the scented shavings. A sweet aroma started to fill. There me. we go. Go on, Nico. Pay the hey, bells. Nico. What do you think of the incense? Smells familiar. Good. Just like church? Not quite, but it'll do. Good. I've run out of ideas for the lights. Well? Right. So maybe it was right in the first place. Unless we have to do something additional to the lights like we did just then. Hey Nico. Got any ideas? Not yet. Right. Right, so let's bring this down. Right. Um the medallion maybe? I didn't think a red f No. Decorating the candelabra with yarn was Damn it! The way he walked over there, I thought that might have been it. Um. That was never. Ah. I needed a better. No. Put that in the recess. That. No. The radio? That would be... <laughs> oh no. Don't want to call someone. Um... Maybe bring it up and then try some of those things. Right. Nope. No. Nope. That was right. Right. That would that would be no. Nope. I needed to try mm. something else. Come on, there's got to be something. Um, what have we got? I mean, none of this seems to make any sense. Um. The scent of incense, divine. Ah, oh, so we can't move that. Okay. There'll be something over here. Can we take a candle? Mm. Candles could be heavenly, but Pearl had already claimed this little oasis of spirituality as her own. I needed something more striking to get her attention. Hmm. It was a stone carving showing a kneeling figure, praying to the Madonna, probably.
we've got we've got to highlight something. So, oh. I rested the side mirror precariously on the camera. Ah. Oh, damn it. Right. So we're one step closer. Right. So we put that back on there. But we've got to secure it, I think. Right. So put that on there. I rested the side mirror. And then use that. I secured the mirror in place with some yarn. There we go. That should do the trick. Not gonna do it? I hope so. Now that was something. There we go. The light from the candelabra spilled over the black Madonna like waves of spiritual goodness in candle form. Yes. Oh, get! Oh, ma! What? Yes, Po. The sound of angels. Go, Nika. Do it again. Heaven, the smell of piety. Piety. Oh, oh, excuse me. That's the helps. Yes. The Madonna. I do believe. Tears. She's crying, Dwayne. <laughs> the Madonna's crying. Fine, son. Little Timmy. <laughs> Little Timmy. Wrong side of the road. Not my fault. The broken leg. Compensation claim. Um. Forgive me, poor Timmy. Oh, Pearl, my precious. You're such a sensitive soul. Well, now that's done. I feel my soul's floating on air. We can get on with our pilgrimage, Dwayne. Just another thousand clicks to go. Pearl was back to her usual cheery self. Good. Oh, my God. That, that that was a that was a tricky one. Oh my word! I think that's the longest one, longest little puzzle that we've had to do yet because there were so many elements of that to work out, and of course we were relying on bloody Dwayne singing that bloody tune there. My God Almighty! Oh my God! Um, so I guess that's we've we've get, gained a little bit of knowledge there about that accident. The car accident. Uh, little Timmy. Is he a kid? A, a dog? A cat or something? Maybe I don't, I don't know. But with a broken leg. Uh, saying about wrong side of the road. Ooh. Bit... Ooh. Mrs. Henderson. George, dear boy. How you feeling? Oh, just fine, thank you. I have just seen a miracle, George. It's all gonna be all right from now. Thank God for that. I'm sure it is, Mrs. Henderson. I'm sure it is. Right. So we have a bit of a chat now. So, Pearl, what have you been up to since we last met? Yes, in, uh, what well, was it, Mexico? George, I've been on a journey. Oh, really? Uh, well, I can't remember where Quaramonte is. A spiritual one. A journey along the road to enlightenment. Wow. And is that what brought you here? It is. Though Santa Cova is but one step on that road. What's so special about Santa Cova? It's an ancient and very holy place. Right. I've spent the last year researching it, and I can truly say there is nothing I do not know about it. I Yay. didn't suppose you'd know anything about that rock out there? 
No, only that for a thousand years, people have claimed to see a face in its shapes. Okay. Still, uh, keeping busy, Dwayne? Like the man said, George, that old kaleidoscope keeps getting shaken. Hmm. And the pieces are ever in flux. Guess it's your job to pick them up, huh? Well, somebody has to do it, compadre. I enjoyed talking to Dwayne, but I was rarely any of the wiser afterwards. <laughs> yeah, that that is true. I mean, he does have some nuggets of wisdom, so I, I think you got to say. Um, the other thing, I mean, have they had work done? So, I mean, you, you look at them, all right? Considering the fact, okay, what was it? It'd be about uh, 17 years, I think, from the first game to the second game. And they were clearly, at that point, probably, let's say mid-30s, at be, being generous, being very generous mid-30s. Probably more like 40, yeah? So we'd be saying that these guys would be literally getting on 60. I think Dwayne, A, is definitely dyeing his hair. Without a shadow of doubt, he definitely should have some grey in there by now. But then also, I, I reckon, you know, I'm, I'm, I think he might have had a bit of Botox or what something like that. He's got a very statue. smooth face, like a baby's I bum. I read that the Black Madonna has been here since the 9th century. She's called the Virgin of Montserrat. Ooh. Some say the original was moved to the cathedral. But Dwayne and I know that's just a bluff, don't we, honey? We sure do. This one is the real McCoy. Okay. What can you tell me about Santa Cova? Well, dear, they call it the Chapel of the Holy Grotto. It was built directly into the mountain itself in 1696. Okay. It survived the Napoleonic Wars, mudslides, civil war. But the chapel is still <laughs> standing today. It's a miracle. Or a restoration. What was that, dear? No, nothing. Yes, a miracle. Hey, Pearl, take a sniff of this. Takes me back to Twain in his frat house days. Nice. I didn't think he'd be interested. I thought they would be interested. So, this ball of yarn, what do you think? It's an antique ball of I yarn. I think you're a lucky man to have it, George. Keep it. <laughs> oh, Good dear. job working out that puzzle. Thank you. Yeah, that that was a bit of a, a bit of a tricky papers. one. That document has the Vatican seal on it. Mhm. Mm you better keep it safe, honey. I bet there's some people who would love to get their hands on it. Oh, you have no idea. Mhm. Mm what do you make of this? Hmm. It looks like an Ouroboros. Oh, you recognize it? Let me show you something else. Can you tell me anything about this painting? Okay. Oh, nothing, dear. Apart from the obvious Gnostic connotations, of course. What? Uh -huh. You know, the Dominicans. All those Gnostic saints. Doubton Thomas, Judas. And you see the woman in the red cloak? The infamous Just realize that one herself. sort of in the middle between the tower and the face in the middle. Is that is that like a pig's head or a rat's head or something like that? Pearl and you were Gnostic onions, all right. Then there's the Ouroboros, of course. Something special about it? Well, if I remember rightly, there was an Ouroboros right here in this chapel. Ah. Back in the 30s and 40s, a chapel was renovated. The workmen uncovered numerous symbols carved in the rock. Okay. But amongst them was a fine Ouroboros. But that's amazing. So, where is it? Oh, it's not there now. Oh. Oh. It was considered blasphemous, so they plastered over it. Ah. Sweetheart, I think it's time for us to go. 
The road to enlightenment waits for no woman. Tis the pilgrim's lot, George. It was so nice to see you again. Oh, you have no Maybe idea. Your girlfriend. We're not. Yeah, you are. Radio, Nico. Never know when you might need it. Uh, keep an eye on our boy George here. Poor little lost lamb. I'm not. Don't yeah, you worry. are. This little lamb's in safe hands. <laughs> oh, bye bye, dears. Oh, there they go. Pearl and Dwayne with his sandals and socks. Nico, don't even start. <laughs> Let's focus on the task in hand, shall we? Okay. This Ouroboros that Pearl mentioned. You're right. We need to find it. Yes, we do. Right. So, something that's been plastered over. So, surely, in theory, shouldn't be this wall of rock. I mean, it could be. That wouldn't work. No, I didn't think so. Right. I mean, could it be that? It's the only one that seems to be suggesting that, that there's something to to hammer over. It was carved from stone. I decided to exhaust my other options before I started smashing up religious artifacts. Yeah. Um, the altar, maybe? I hoped this was the right thing to do. Oh! Hey! Hey, Nico, I found the Ouroboros. So what now? Pearl was right. The plaster had covered an Ouroboros. I pushed the Ouroboros, but nothing happened. Oh. Um... It was an old cr I'd already found the Ouroboros. The okay. Um. The medallion matched the Ouroboros in the wall. Aha. Uh -huh. The medallion. Uh. That wouldn't make No. The Black Madonna was clearly the focal point of the chat. Okay. Um I pulled the Ouroboros, but it wouldn't budge. I pushed the Ouroboros, but nothing happened. Right. So it's either we've got to use something on it, or there's something else that we've missed. Oh! Now we can take the candles, I think. Possibly. Okay. Yeah, so we can't interact with these now. Right. So. Maybe candle in the recess. Because surely we shouldn't be able to interact with the recess unless there's, there's something to do with it. Oh. Right. Now. Should we try and press it? 
I pulled the Ouroboros, but it wouldn't budge. I pushed the Ouroboros, but nothing happened. Damn it! Um... Jesus, right. Um... Can't actually lit. Maybe it needs to be lit. What was that noise? Oh, we've literally got a single match left. Now can we try it? I need oh, finally! Secret passageway. Amazing, Charles. How did you do it? Oh my word! Just another case of the old Stobart magic, I guess, Nico. It, uh, it looks a little dark in there. Are you scared, Shosh? No. Of course not. Just worried about you tripping. That's all. Yeah. One short and very dark climb later. Oh, this is one dark cave. Oh! It's the door that worries me, Georges. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the door will open again if we give it a minute. No need to panic. <laughs> now we panic. Yeah. I gotta say, Nico, you're pretty calm about this. Mm. Traveling with you, Georges, I've got used to this kind of thing. Yeah. If I panicked every time a door shut behind us, probably forever, well... You're right. What was I thinking? <laughs> you see if you can get the door open, and I'll go check out the... dark, evil-smelling cave. Yeah. Fumbling around in the dark wasn't going to be fun. But heck, I'd spent a lifetime doing it, so what was new? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my word. You know what? It, it was so great seeing um, Pearl and, and, and Dwayne again there. Um, yeah, it just took me back to my childhood, speaking to them. And, and even now, you know, because I remember in the first game, I think, when, when George got trapped in a in a cave, uh, thinking, yep, this is going to be certain death, clearly. Um, so that is going to do it for episode number eight of uh, Broken Sword uh, 5, our first time playthrough, blind playthrough, if you like. Um, yeah, please do make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe um, these, these videos. Uh, of course, I'm uh, a very new YouTuber, so I've got very, very uh, limited uh, followings. Uh, obviously, I'm doing a few different uh, video game series. I'm doing um, some sports ones, some action, some RPG, loads of different stuff. So, uh, you know, please do, um, obviously, subscribe to the video. You'll see when I go live. You'll see all the other videos that we're doing. All the videos are in playlists, so you can catch the whole series. But until next time, my name's Kevin. I'm a geek, and you've been watching Kevin the Geek. Goodbye.